time has come. Peach has spent her whole life hidden behind Super Mario, and now it's her time to shine in the mysterious Sparkle Theater. Get your ticket to this spectacle full of secrets by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notifications. Here you have the 25 secrets of Princess Peach Showtime. Princess Peach Showtime isn't the first solo Princess Peach game, as she had her own adventure in Super Princess Peach for the Nintendo DS, where she can get angry and even cry. However, it's true that this is the first Princess game without Mario, Luigi, or anyone else to support her beyond her toads. The first time the Princess appeared alone in a game was in a McDonald's watch, given away with Happy Meals in the 90s. At the beginning of the game, Peach is taking a walk through the Mushroom Kingdom next to her castle. This setting and the castle's design are the same as those used in the last world of Super Mario Odyssey. Thankfully, they removed the giant hat. Princess Peach's appearance holds a secret related to her name, and you might not have noticed it because of her crown, but with her ribbon in Showtime, it looks much better. If you look at her from the front, you'll see that her hair has the shape of a peach, hence the name Princess Peach. Some players see a heart, but what do you see, heart or peach? The Sparkle Theater is where the entire story of Princess Peach Showtime unfolds, and its exterior shape is based on Roman amphitheaters. The difference is that the places where the audience would sit are the homes of the Thetes in the game, and the center where the stage would be is the theater itself. At the end of the game, this is much clearer, with the audience in the stands and the protagonist in the center. When Peach wants to quickly go down the floors of the theater, she can use the elevator. But if she wants to do it like a princess, she uses the staircase banister. If you approach the banister with Peach, she can slide down them and descend faster. Did you notice that there's a common element that repeats in all the outfits Peach wears in the theater plays? Her entire look changes, but only one thing remains the same. The brooch she wears in the center of her dress moves to the belt, the neckerchief, or the hair. And only in one of the outfits does it disappear completely. The Mighty Peach transformation. Where could it be hidden? When Peach uses Stella's power on the feats, they become happy and can perform their roles in the play. If you leave Peach next to them when they're happy, she'll start dancing. Pero saltita, gordo, batita. Patisserie Peach can make delicious cookies, and there's a huge revelation in the game. The cookies from Yoshi's Cookie seem to have always been a Princess Peach's recipe. These cookies have appeared in games like Yoshi's Crafted World, Super Mario RPG, and even Super Mario Galaxy 2. Although this Princess Peach transformation goes way back in time, because one of her main hobbies has always been baking. In Princess Peach Showtime, she decorates cakes, something she's been cooking since Super Mario 64 and also in the Paper Mario series. If enemies catch Ninja Peach during infiltration, she'll throw a smoke bomb and leave a trunk as a decoy. If Peach isn't wearing the ninja outfit, she'll also demonstrate her stealth abilities by throwing a smoke bomb, though without leaving a log. When Grape takes over the Sparkle Theater, the paintings of each of the plays change to versions where the Sour Bunch are the protagonists. This is because the actors are locked up, but when normality is restored on each floor, the paintings return to their usual state. Stella is the only help Peach has inside the Sparkle Theater, and her origins are a complete mystery. She has a design similar to a shooting star, but doesn't resemble the Lumas from Super Mario Galaxy at all. In fact, she reminds more of Maggie from The Simpsons than a star. It's unknown if Stella is directly related to Rosalina, the mother of the Lumas, since both wear very similar clothes and the character is star-shaped. But according to Nintendo, she is a magical fairy, so her relationship with the Mario Galaxy Universe is ruled out. Interestingly, her name in other languages is Stella, but in Spain, to avoid confusion with a Stella, it was changed to Lucy. In the second act of Kung Fu Peach, there's a very special character that references a legend of video games. One of the feats that Peach rescues towards the end of the act looks similar to the character Chun-Li from Street Fighter, with buns in her hair and a blue outfit reminiscent of the fighters. Princess Peach Showtime features its own language, as seen in games like Kirby and the Forgotten Land or Super Mario Sunshine. This can be clearly seen on the entrance doors to the different plays or in the letter Peach receives at the end of the game. 
Good Feels was inspired by a huge Nintendo Switch success to create Princess Peach Showtime. The similarities with Luigi's Mansion 3 are very evident, arriving at an apparently charming place only to become terrifying. The intro scenes are almost identical, the development also works by floors, and even in the detective play, spades and diamonds keys are used, as in Luigi's Mansion 3. They were also inspired by a bunch of popular movies and stories that you'll recognize right away. Mermaid Peach plays are inspired by The Little Mermaid, having a yellow fish friend like Ariel's Flounder. Swordfighter Peach references the story and setting of El Zorro. Detective Peach part is inspired by Sherlock Holmes, even having a helper to the main actor like Watson. Lastly, Mighty Peach references Evangelion and the Power Rangers. The entirety of Princess Peach Showtime is a contemporary metaphor for how Nintendo wants to empower Super Mario's princess, turning her into the Nintendo Barbie. In her movie, and Life is a Doll, Barbie could become anything, whether a cowgirl, doctor, or superhero. And in Princess Peach Showtime, Peach can be whatever she wants. The clearest evidence of this occurs when Peach loses her crown, ceasing to be a princess to become something more. You might have wondered why all the enemies in this game are related to grapes. The big baddie is named Grape, and the Sour Bunch refers to a bunch of spoiled grapes. Well, all of this is actually a reference to the celebrations in ancient Greek theater in honor of Dionysus, the god of wine and theater. Princess Peach Showtime codename is PJ037. It was developed by Goodfeel and the name makes sense because the project started between Yoshi's Crafted World and Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, which were codenamed PG033 and PJ040 respectively. In the Peach Detective play, there's an object in the museum called Nose of Truth that detects lies. This stone is inspired by a real object called the Mouth of Truth, whose legend says that whoever puts their hand in its mouth will lose it if they tell lies. At the beginning of the plays, you can hear this sound. This electric sound you hear is known as electric curtain. It's a sound effect generated by audio equipment to indicate that the show is about to start. It's often used to prepare the audience for the performance that's about to begin. It's like a signal for everyone to get ready and focus on the act that's about to start. At the end of the game, you can see Peach taking a small bow alongside the 10 Sparkla. This references the final bow done in theater plays, indicating that the performance has ended. Even though Peach transforms into Super Saiyan and gives Grape what she deserves, there's a final scene that suggests her soul is still alive within the mask, giving the possibility for her return in the future. Once Peach defeats Grape and restores normalcy to Sparkle Theater, the title screen will change from featuring the theater in its Grape guise to Sparkle Theater as it usually is. After completing the game, Peach will be able to decorate Sparkle Theater in exchange for Sparkle Gems, and the ninja Sparkla will challenge her to find his disciples hidden in all the stages. If you manage to 100% complete the game, Peach will receive a special dress decorated with Sparkle Gems and a secret dress with the faces of the feet stamped on it. The show is coming to an end, but you can continue marveling at the Theater of Secrets with these Super Mario plays as we leave you here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be the first to get tickets for the upcoming shows. Thanks for watching. See you next time.